This is an ABS motor. Have you ever wondered how it works? First, let me quickly describe how the ABS system in your car works. As you're driving along the road, the wheels are rotating, and that rotation speed is captured by the ABS computer via these wheel speed sensors. When you step on the brakes, the master cylinder sends brake fluid to the ABS motor and then out to the wheel. If the ABS computer senses a difference in the wheel speed, i.e. the car is skidding, it sends a signal to a solenoid in the ABS motor. That solenoid activates a valve, temporarily releasing brake pressure from that wheel, preventing a skid. Let's have a closer look at the inner workings of this ABS motor. So here we are in the engine bay, and this is where the ABS motor is located. These are the two brake lines from the master cylinder, and these two and these two go to each wheel. To remove the ABS motor, there's a couple of electrical connections, as well as a 10 millimeter bolt, and then a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen the brake lines from here, and a 12 millimeter wrench for these brake lines here. Here's what the ABS motor looks like when it's out of the vehicle. As you can see, we've got the set of thick wires here, which power the motor, and this set of wires here, which power the solenoids. Let's open this up to see what's inside. As you can see, the system is completely electromechanical. There's no circuit boards or computer chips. The wires run directly inside to the 12 solenoid. I'm going to continue by opening up the housing here. These four screws. I'm going to pop this guy off here. and that reveals the solenoids. So these are the 12 coils right here. What it is is essentially a coil wrapped around and when you activate it, it induces a magnetic field which pulls this valve in and out. So the solenoids control these valves here. There's 12 of them, which means that there's three per wheel, which allows for a three stage variance in the pressure. These outer ones here control the wheels that connect here and the inner ones here control the wheels that connect on this side. This is where the master cylinder return and supply line go in and this is the ABS motor. It's just a regular DC motor that builds up pressure and activates when your ABS kicks in and then the solenoids here determine which wheel will release or increase pressure. I'm just going to open up these DC motor housing. So here's the inside of the DC motor. As you can see this is the coils. We've got four brushes here and inside here is where the magnets are. The rest of this unit is pretty much just a big chunk of machined aluminum it's not really serviceable. Now if I try to apply 12 volts here, you can see my power supply doesn't have enough current to turn this heavy duty DC motor. Here I'm applying 12 volts to each solenoid and you can hear them activating as they move each valve in and out. This here is an ABS wheel speed sensor. As you can see we've got the sensor here that plugs into the CV shaft which is splined. You can see the splines on the CV shaft here and the sensor on the steering knuckle. It works similar to a Hall effect sensor in that it detects changes in the magnetic field which go back to the computer where it can get wheel speed readings. There's a sensor like this on every wheel. Here I've got the wheel speed sensor hooked up to a voltmeter. You can see the spikes in the voltage as I move the screw head past the meter and that is what the computer will pick up to read the wheel speed. And that pretty much sums up how the ABS system in your car works.